And in 2016, more than a thousand people across Texas were killed in car accidents as a result of not wearing their seatbelts. The Texas Department of Transportation continues to work to try to get drivers and passengers to strap themselves in. Roland Rodriguez joins us live from SPID in Everhart this morning with more about that. Good morning, Roland. Uh, good morning, guys, and good morning, South Texas. Wearing a seatbelt is simple, effective, and more importantly, it can save your life. According to the Texas Department of Transportation, seatbelt usage soared past 90% in 2017, but there were still 929 people who were not wearing seatbelts and died in Texas traffic accidents. As far as the total number, you're, you're looking in 2017 at 2,010 people uh, that sustained serious injuries that were involved in, in crashes, uh, whether they were unrestrained or small children to older adults. Uh, as compared to 2016, uh, we had uh, 2,047, so the number did come down uh, some, but still it's way too high. Texas Department of Public Safety Sergeant Nathan Brentley says the challenge is encouraging the drivers and riders who don't use a safety belt to change their behavior. We go to schools, businesses, organizations, we talk about uh, the risk factors and not wearing your seat belts, um, always putting them on in the vehicle. Uh, and number one, it's, it's the driver's responsibility to make sure that everybody is buckled up inside the car correctly. Seat belts can reduce crash fatalities by as much as 60%. People that are ejected, either you know, they succumb to their injuries from hitting the ground or the vehicle rolling over on top of them or another vehicle coming along and, and striking them. So you want to be inside that vehicle and not be thrown around inside of it or be thrown out of it uh, while you're in a crash. Brantley also says that 57% of fatalities happen at night and 50% of those accidents involve people who weren't wearing seat belts. Let me also add that if you get pulled over for a seatbelt violation, that fine can cost you anywhere from $200 to $250.